It's Heimer Weigen. Duty, please. Okay, so we want to get a 1 and 2 drop. Wolfrat is so tempting though, oh my god. Basically, you want to get a 1 and 2 drop, so you usually mulligan everything, but... Wolf Rider seems like a really valuable card that I usually keep. Just because of the fact that like ramping versus ma any matchup is very good for our deck. Wow. Okay, I guess this dude hates Omen Hawks. Oof. Such value. Oof, this is so weird. Um, I mean, he turn mode, so we don't get to draw near you level up tick. The thing here is, though, keeping Warning Shot is great with Wolf Rider, so we can ensure ramping on turn 4. But not playing anything turn 2 and not playing anything turn 3 seems bad. So I'm just gonna do this now. No, you can't steal champions. <laughs> you can only steal non-champion cards. So yeah, we don't want to skip tur turn 2 and 3, so we have to play something. Okay, we get to turn 4. Now we want to ramp right now. So we attack with both, so we 100% sure can ramp. And we can keep something alive with Twin Disciplines because it's 2 mana, so we can... We have 4 mana for Wolf Rider and 2 mana for Twin Disciplines. So even if he tries to use a spell to try to kill our stuff and defend and not let us ramp, even then we can still be able to ramp. So we're fine here. And... Wow. What is happening, guys? He really does not want Sejuani to level up. Okay, so this is what we talked about. Like. If we let this go, we don't get to ramp. So, we give this boy 3 HP, so that he can attack his face, we can ramp, and win the game, basically. Oh, he gets a 3-2, okay. So turn 4, Wolf Rider. One of the win conditions of our deck. It gives us so much value, generally as a card. Okay, now is the time when we think, do we want to block? Losing Merchant here, or losing Wolf Rider here? Both of which I actually want to keep. I don't... like losing 5 HP, falling down to turn 13, while he has only 4 cards, we have the same amount of cards, but we have more pressure on the board. Seems okay to take the damage, use the health as a resource. Sometimes you just don't want to block. Just because your cards are more valuable than his. So, basically the idea is we keep the merchant alive. Because here we can red card. Get Sajrani one, one tick to level up. And the red card allows us to use merchant again. To plunder. Steal another card for minus two. And now it's only three mana. And we need more cards right now, because we cannot play Merchant, right now at least. And Deep Meditation, I don't see the value of playing it, because we can just play it later, when it will become minus 2, because we didn't cast 2 spells this round, so we rather want to salvage. We didn't get anything valuable here, but we're probably going to play Merchant if we can get to... Um, plunder him. So this most likely will plunder and attacking with Twist Fate could be an option but he might have the card that we just played give plus 3 HP the discipline so if we attack with Twisted Fate he might defend with the dragon give it 3 HP and kill our Twisted Fate and we don't want that because our Twisted Fate is 4 out of 8 he might level up 
because we can draw two cards here, draw one card here, and we want to keep Twisted Fate safe and alive. Even though he might be able to have a card to kill him, but previously he used so many cards and so now he does have too many cards to potentially we have the chance potentially to keep Twisted Fate alive and level him up. And we got a zero mana get excited. Seems good. Oh my god, the merchants. So we could potentially kill Heimer here. It depends on what he might play this turn. Next turn we have 8 mana, so we can play Rex. Or Tusk Raider. If we plunder, we get the effect off. So now he played Innovation, so if we don't kill Heimer now, he's gonna get a 5-5. Five five. And because it's a 6 mana spell, he's gonna get the 6 mana turret, which is the, um, this one. So now we can either kill Heimer, so he doesn't get the 6 one unit, or we let this go and use the get excited on his face so we can get plunder next turn and play Rex right after it. Which could be a consideration, but I feel like it might be better just to kill Heimer here because next turn when he attacks he has two elusive units and one overwhelm unit from the, the Heimer turret which could threaten us and we might lose. So I feel like losing one of the units. Uh, Wolf Rider or Rex? Uh, I'm gonna lose Wolf Rider because we are at late game so a higher cost unit seems better. Oh, here's Surrender. Okay. Okay, GG. We couldn't got we could get Twisted Fate leveled up at the start of the turn, just because of the fact that like he had one mana left. So after playing that card, he had nothing to deal with Twisted Fate. So even if he tries to kill him at the start of the turn, we would have used Deep Meditation for reduce two costs because we used two spells. So Deep Meditation would cost one mana or something. I don't remember. It would cost really low and we will get Twisted Fate instantly leveled up, draw more spells and it will pretty much be GG because we will have burst spells that would enable us to use a blue card, red card, do one damage to all units and basically plunder at the same turn where we could potentially play Rex if the spells are like warning shot or like low mana cost. So yeah, GG.